Uh, then when we get to the door, we want to take readings at different levels. So CO is slightly lighter than air. So it's, it's a uh, 0.968 compared to air, which is considered one. So it's slightly lighter, which means it should rise, but it's so close to the same as air. That's how it gets a little crazy. So all gases are tested in a lab at 68 degrees. It's called standard temperature and pressure. So it's atmospheric pressure, 14.7, um, and at 68 degrees. So if CO is present at 68 degrees, it should be almost combined with the air, but slightly rising. Right. Now, if it's hotter, it's going to do what? It's going to rise faster. If it's colder, it's going to sink. Okay. So the idea of us going into a fire, hitting it with hose line, we're cooling it down. What's it going to do? Sink, go to the lowest level. Okay. As fast as possible. It's probably going to be everywhere, but for the most part, it's going to want to sink once we cool it. Down. Right. Right. So colder environment, um, stuff like that, it's going to start to sink. So um, just understanding the basics of regular CO and how that's going to operate. <clears throat> Get to the door. We're going to take readings at three different levels. So we're going to do high because it's CO. So it should be rising, medium, and then low. 